This training camp is, uh, it's been a tough one. You know, a little banged up, but that, that's like every camp. Been going through a lot uh, on a personal note. <laughs> you know, it, it'll all unfold sooner or later. <clears throat> but at least I have the gym. That's my happy place at the moment. So uh, as much drama as I'm dealing with outside, um, I have this place to make me happy. And, and, and really, at least I'm focused here. You know, I'm in super good shape. I'm 10 pounds lighter than I was uh, last camp. You know, my manorexia is kicking in well. I don't know if it's, if it's the uh, personal problems that's not making me eat as much or what, but uh, <laughs> at least I'm, my weight's down and my energy's up, so. Uh, you know, it's all home stuff. You know, I don't, don't live at home anymore. I'm separated, probably getting a divorce. Um, you know, just stuff like that. Joe's a friend of mine. I can actually call him. He's one of my favorite people in the sport. You know, cool guy, like we've hung out outside of the sport. I'm sure we will again. And you know, I, I don't mind beating up my friends. I beat up my friends on a daily basis here, and they beat me up. You know, it's it, that's what you do. You know, I punch my friends in the face. Um, watch a little tape. You know, I, I, he's had the same style since he, you know, became you know who he is. So uh, it's you know, have training partners mimic him, and just go over game plan, game plan, defense. Because <clears throat> um, I, I think that employing a game plan like Mighty Mouse had which he did to me, he did to Joe. He'll probably do the same thing he, you know, he's going to do to Dotson. Um, but just add a little more violence to it. You know, do the, do the things that I'm good at. You know, you see me go in there and, and do, do what I do best. I got my footwork back. I got my speed back. <clears throat> um, for me to be happy again, just to win, beat Joe, well, that, that, that'll be probably the biggest accomplishment of my life, right, career, you know, is beating Joe uh, and finishing him, getting a nice bonus and just, after you know, I, I put everything away. <clears throat> a lot of people like to juggle things in life, and I, I just bat everything away. My my my. You know, <clears throat> I don't live with them at home anymore. My wife, whatever problems we have, my mom has my daughter for you know, it'll be almost a month after my fight. So I just want to get this over with, uh, and obviously you know, be free and just be happy finally to be. You know, that's my that's how I look at it. Get in there, and I can be happy, and then um, get it over so I can fix my life. I see a weakness in Joe, um, technically, because I think I'm technically better than he is. Not to say that he sucks, you know, because he doesn't. He's good everywhere, but he's wild, you know. He dives in for submissions, um, which he gets. You know, he dives in for knockouts, which he gets. But um, it's that diving point. It's that open spot, which I need to take advantage of. You know, I, I think. I'm a technical better wrestler. I think I'm technically better standing, uh, technically better uh, jiu-jitsu, and I just need to, uh, as he's diving in for those things, I, I gotta catch it. I'm gonna beat Joseph Benavides on a second because it's my destiny. I've worked too hard at this. I've been doing this for too fucking long. You know, and, and I'm not just gonna beat him. I, I gotta knock him out. I gotta make, I gotta finally put my imprint on the world at a bigger stage. Oh and not just be the guy who should have done this or got robbed of this or, you know, everyone making excuses for that. I need to go out and I need to do my job and I need to prove that I'm here for a reason. There wasn't all this hype for no reason, you know. <laughs> I, I, I'm actually pretty good.